Okay, people, I hope everybody's doing well today. Thank you very much for joining me. Guys, I am back in the UK, back from Brazil, and the topic of addiction continues. Common Thamos. So guys, somebody asked me a question, and I thought it was a very good and relevant question, and it's something that may help people in early recovery, okay? And this is something that I experience still to this day on a fairly regular basis. And the question is this, guys. Somebody asked me, do I experience dreams of using drugs in recovery? And the answer is yes. I absolutely experienced this. When I first went into sobriety, guys, I used to get these two or three times a week. Now I would average it at say once every two weeks, but I still get them and they're quite intense. And I can understand why people have concerns with them and they're like, wow, that was quite heavy, a little bit scary. Um, but from my experience, guys, this is a part of recovery. Um, now, there's going to be many factors to this if you experience them. Um, how long you've abused substances for, how much you've been exposed to them, and many other things, I'm sure. But uh, to be clear, I never experienced these whilst I was using. It was just when I went abstinent. And this could, you could say it's a side effect, consequence, whatever. But uh, this is part of recovery. So anyone who is new into recovery, because I know a lot of people have messaged me or like a week in, two weeks, month, this may come for you later down the line. So it's a good, it's a good video for you to watch because you might learn and it's going to make you freak out less, okay? So what are drug dreams, guys? That is the question. So some people call them relapse dreams. So a drug dream is basically, obviously I'm asleep and I'm dreaming very intensely about the substance that I used to abuse, i.e. for me, cocaine. Um, so quite literally, I will be in the dream and it's like I am literally on a bender, on a session, and it's extremely realistic. You think it's real and I'm actually sniffing the lime or smoking the crack, taking the pills, drinking the alcohol until I seek oblivion, okay? So it's quite intense. I've experienced all four of those substances whilst dreaming, um, so it's quite heavy. Um, so it's very realistic. Um, now what happens is, is I'm literally, just to explain about myself and my experience from them, I will quite literally be engaging in that activity, i.e. taking the drugs. I'll be sniffing the line on a session on the bender, but usually in the dream, there will be something else wrong. And let me explain. Now, as an addict, guys, and the situation I was in over the last few years of my addiction, which is really extreme, what will happen is I will take the cocaine, I will be all fine for like 10 minutes, high as a kite, whatever, but my brain very quickly would turn to addiction mode. And what would happen then is I would then go back home or wherever my brain deems to feel safe, I would then isolate to somewhere where I feel more comfortable and then I can continue to keep using, okay? Now what happens then, so you're basically in isolation mode, you're pretty twisted and you just wanna get more and more twisted and this is your addictive brain, okay? Basically in full control. And what happens then is any potential obstacles that may interfere with you continuing to use, you push them aside, you push them out, you get rid of them. So what would happen is, this say work, you will say and do whatever is necessary, get rid of work. I'm not going to work, I'm continuing to use. Any appointments you may have, any friendship things coming on, they say you're going to the gym, you're going out for food, send the message, get rid of that, not interested, I'm busy, push it away. So those two things are taken care of. What happens then is, your brain will be like, right, money. Money's very important. Let's make sure we have a constant flow of money to be able to keep using. Also, let's make sure we have a constant flow of drug supply so we can keep using, okay? So this is the mind, guys, of an addict, and this is where I was. And I could literally isolate in that room for as long as a week, sometimes longer, okay? So really, really extreme. Now, what would happen to me is in the dreams, someone or something would be kicking back because they know something's wrong. So not only am I sniffing, taking hard drugs in the dream, and I actually think I'm twisted in the dream, but also one of those scenarios has backfired. So let's just say my job are kicking back or someone's kicking back, and it's basically escalating. 
and there's some sort of manipulation going on, okay? So it's really extreme, and this is something I experience quite regularly. So it was like I was in a real life scenario, of like the old scenarios I used to be in, okay? So it's really quite messed up, um, but these are quite common. So I just wanted to make that aware for people that this is something you may experience in the future. Now, why do these happen? Well, guys, when you take drugs, alcohol, you are hijacking your brain's neurological pathways to seek pleasure. Now, the thing is, we all want to seek pleasure. If we could feel good constantly, we all would, right? So what happens is when you take the drugs, when you take the cocaine, it's basically a fast track approach to seek pleasure, okay? But the problem is, guys, those circuits, your actions leading up to receiving that pleasure reward, the dopamine hit, they become stronger. Your brain remembers the actions. Hence why you keep repeating the pattern of using the drugs or drinking the alcohol, okay, guys? This is addiction, okay? So your neurological pathways are a little messed up. This just say your brain basically is a little bit messed up and you've done some damage. So this is potentially that reason. Um, other factors, you know, if you're exposed to drugs all the time, like for me personally, I'm constantly talking to people, engaging uh, with people with substance issues, I'm working with people. And obviously I'm about to start coaching, so I'm already lining all this stuff up. So obviously I'm exposed to it all the time, so I'm thinking about it a lot, you know? So maybe that's another reason. And another reason I like to think of it as, it's a way of my brain reminding me to be grateful for the sobriety. Because guys, let me tell you, once you wake up from the dream, you are literally like, thank God that wasn't real because that was a horrendous situation to be in. And that was the kind of situations I used to be in, okay? So really extreme. So uh, be grateful for your sobriety. And it does remind me, you know, you think, God, I do not want to go back there. And that's it, people. I think that's pretty much everything. So that is drug dreams. They're quite common. Don't be too scared of them. Um, they may come if you're in early sobriety. So I just thought I would put that out there for people. Um, to learn from. I hope I hope the information I'm giving you is good. It's accurate. You can relate to it. Um, and any questions, guys, of course, reach out as normal. Um, things coming up in the future, guys. I keep saying coaching's coming up, literally building my website. So I'm going to be doing three-month packages for people. Just passed my addiction counseling. Got my cert here. So very pleased with that. Got trips planned in the future. I'm going to continue to do life in recovery to show people what you need to do, the mindset required to get sober and live a good, fulfilling life in recovery. So I think that's it, people. Any questions, reach out, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios, chicos.